What do you know about the four phases of Medicare Part D? Hi, it's Robert Bache, also known as Medicare Bob and founder of SeniorHealthCareDirect.com. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about these four periods of Medicare Part D that could cause your costs to change throughout the year. Medicare Part D drug coverage helps pay for the prescription drugs you need. Part D is optional and the only prescription drug coverage offered alongside original Medicare. Private insurance companies approved by Medicare offer and manage these Part D plans. And there are hundreds of Part D drug plans to choose from. All plans cover a wide range of drugs, but your actual Part D costs may vary depending on the following. Your prescriptions, what tier the drug is in, and this can be different depending on your specific drug plan, which pharmacy you use, whether you get extra help paying for your Medicare drug coverage costs, and which drug benefit phase you're in. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video, the four drug benefit phases of Medicare Part D. The four phases are the deductible period, the initial coverage period, the coverage gap or donut hole, and catastrophic coverage. Every Part D plan follows these same four coverage phases, and your Part D costs may change throughout the year depending on which phase you're in. Let's break it down. While some Part D plans have no deductible, for 2022, no plan's deductible can be higher than $480. If your Part D plan has a deductible, until you meet it, you'll be in the deductible period, and you'll pay the full price for your covered prescription drugs. Once you've met your plan's deductible, you'll enter the initial coverage period. Your Part D plan will pay some of your drug costs and you'll pay a copay. This period varies from plan to plan, but for most plans in 2022, the initial coverage period ends after you and your plan combined have paid $4,430 in total drug costs. After you leave the initial period, you'll enter the coverage gap, also called the donut hole. When you're in your plan's coverage gap, you're responsible for 25% of the cost of your covered prescriptions. It's important to note that if you receive extra help, you won't have a coverage gap and you will pay a different drug cost depending on that extra help. Finally, if at any point in the year, you've reached $7,050 in out-of-pocket costs for your drugs covered by your Part D plan, you'll enter catastrophic coverage. This amount is the same across all Part D plans. When you're in catastrophic coverage, you'll pay a lot less for your prescription drugs for the rest of the year. You'll pay 5% of the cost for each drug, or $3.95 for generics and $9.85 for brand name. Out-of-pocket costs that can help you get to the catastrophic coverage period can include things like your deductible and what you've already paid in the initial coverage period. Costs that don't help you reach catastrophic coverage include monthly premiums, what your plan has paid, and the cost of non-covered drugs. Whichever Part D plan you select will keep track of money you've spent out of pocket, and your monthly statement should tell you just how much and what phase you're in. Enrolling in a Part D plan may be the best way to save on out-of-pocket drug costs. Call our licensed agents at 833-463-3262 and we can help or click the link to the blog in the video description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more from me, Medicare Bob.